Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I wasn't able to vlog this week and I just felt like doing something different on the channel. So one thing that I do really love is fashion. My sense of fashion is quite minimal in many ways. I have tried and tried and tried to have a minimal wardrobe and whilst I think I'm a lot better than I used to be, um, it's definitely not minimal, but I do try and get fewer pieces that are classic that will last a long time. We're going to talk about a few finds on Depop as well as a few splurges and hopefully you guys like the video so let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more videos like this. Also, most of my audience isn't actually Australian. It might be interesting for you guys to see some Australian labels too because I think most of these if not all, are uh, Australian brands. So let's start off with a recent Depop purchase. This is a plain classic blue skirt, although it's not quite classic because it does have this lower hemline at the back and a shorter hemline at the front, which is a little bit unique and it's by one of my favorite brands, Victoria and Woods. I believe this is a Melbourne brand, if I'm not mistaken, and this skirt probably originally was really expensive because it is not a cheap brand. A lot of the pieces are very high quality and a lot of them are locally made. Originally it was probably like $200, I don't know, so that was a bit of a steal. And I love pairing denim with very basic black tops. I kind of have three black tops I'm wearing a lot at the moment. Uh, this is a newer one by a label called Jack and Jack. And I really, really like Jack and Jack. Their tops are really expensive. You're gonna die. The reason why I spend so much money on these basic tops is because my first one I ever bought is this black tank. I got this 10 years ago. I'm not even kidding. This has lasted for 10 years and it's still in perfect condition. I haven't even followed the washing label. I've been quite naughty. They are amazing quality. When I've gained weight and lost weight, I've still been able to fit into this because of the fabric stretches. And I feel like tops you wear all the time, it's worth it to me to spend a bit more on them instead of replacing a singlet every year. So I did get this top by the same brand. It's the same ribbed fabric. For me, I've got an hourglass figure and broad shoulders. So the high cut shirts are not great on me, especially if they're baggy, they just do not work. So I actually need a fitted shirt and I like I can kind of pull this down, show a little collarbone and that just works a lot better on me. I like wearing it with many things, but one of my new favorites is this pair of blue jeans. I feel like I'm forever hunting for the perfect pair of jeans and these are pretty close. This is by a label called Assembly Label. It's a nice minimal brand. These jeans are really cute because they're kind of the mum jean look. They're wasted, so for me, I feel like they're very flattering and they're comfortable as well. So I'm really happy with this pair. The other top or the second top out of three tops that I wear the most, pretty much whenever I'm in casual clothes, uh, is this other top by Jack and Jack. I always buy tops in black because I'm clumsy. I spill stuff on myself. Black is always flattering for me to wear. It goes with everything. And if these are gonna be $80 each, I'm gonna get something that's very versatile that I can wear all the time. This is like a cropped, version of the tank top and this is really comfortable. I really like pairing this with a light denim skirt. This is a nice kind of distressed hem A-line skirt, flattering and comfortable. This is by a brand called Dr. Denim. So I think this is just a cute look with flats um, in the warmer weather, especially Sydney where it gets pretty humid. Throwing on a denim skirt is a really good option. The third top that I've been wearing all the time is not super expensive. This is from Cotton On, and actually it was a dress. <laughs> That's right, I forgot for a second. This was actually a dress that I bought, and what I did was I just cut it with kitchen scissors. It's a terrible job, the cutting, but the thing is with this fabric, it just kind of curls at the end, so you wouldn't notice. And I just was struggling to find a top with just cute elastic straps that wasn't super expensive. Um, and this one's been great. I wear this all the time. One of my favorite things to pair it with is actually a uh, A-line silk skirt. Silk Laundry is a really lovely brand. I actually think it's local. These are a splurge. You can get them on sale and on Depop. There's a lot of silk laundry as well. It's just very flattering. It's easy to dress up for dinner. Or you can team it with a leather jacket and boots for colder weather or an autumnal look. Um, so very, very versatile. And this color is just so pretty. I, I love earthy colors. So this wine, I like red wine too. <laughs> so this, this is just me to a D. Another denim Depop purchase were these shorts. These are by one teaspoon. They're just distressed kind of surfy looking shorts. 
I remember when I was at school, when I was about 15 or 14, these were like such a cool thing to wear. Like everyone had them. I don't think I ever had a pair in school because they were too expensive. And this felt like naughties to me. And I was really excited to finally get a pair. And I think they were $20 on Depop. Um, so they're just really cute going to the shops, going to the beach. And these are a nice throwback for me. I feel like even though I try and have a classic and minimal wardrobe, I find myself always being drawn to floral dresses when the weather warms up. Like I love a floral dress and I found this one by Kavari. I think this might be an Australian brand. And this is just very flattering. It's got the V-neck front, the V-neck back, the ties so you can make it fit any way you want on your shoulders. And it's just so flowy and nice for warmer weather as well. And a little bit room romantic. Uh, I have a couple of events. One is a hen's party and I feel like this is a good option to wear to that because it can be dressed up or dressed down. In terms of shoes, um, I like plain sneakers. I like distressed sneakers and I really have two other shoes that I use the most. These are just plain black shoes and they're both by the same brand called St. Agni. St. Agni is a Byron Bay brand. They claim to be an ethical brand and sustainable. They have really lovely, comfortable shoes that very often are on sale. So these I got on sale. I think these were a steal from memory. Um, and they're just like little strappy heels. I didn't wipe them down, sorry guys. <laughs> but um, these are great. They're comfy, they just slip on, they go with everything, whether it be jeans, dress, what have you. You can see they've had many wears. And then recently I needed to replace my plain black flats. So I got these. Um, these are comfortable. They're really nice quality. The only thing is I wouldn't recommend them because this back strap that's meant to go around the foot just slips off, which is really disappointing. I guess for some people's feet it would stay, but not for mine. And I feel like if I had gone down a size, they would have been too small. So um, that's a bit disappointing, but I can still wear them. They are very comfortable. So these are my go-to flats. My most recent purchase that I posted on Instagram the other day is a classic black dress. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> this is really pretty and so flattering. If you're like me and you have broad shoulders and a bigger bust, you may also find that Thicker straps are very flattering, and A-line is very flattering if you have an hourglass and some hips and a butt. So I just feel like this is a great dress. It can be a little bit more conservative and modest, depending on what event you go to. So I feel like this is a little less revealing, but it's still like a linen. So it'd be cool as well in warmer weather. Yeah, it's just a classic. Dress it up, dress it down. I just feel like you can go wrong. And the keyhole detailing at the back is also a nice little addition. Uh, these buttons do feel like they're gonna come off. It's not a big deal to sew them on again, that's easy. The question is if you will lose the button <laughs> and how easy it will be to replace them. So that's the only thing I'm a little bit like, eh, I didn't know about that. But I hope to have this for a long time because this was $200, um, so it's not cheap, but I'm hoping because I know the brand, I've had the brand before and I know it's good quality, this will not disappoint. Last of all, I thought I'd just show you guys a few little extra things that I'm really enjoying at the moment. One is this flat clip. Uh, you can find these in a lot of different places. I got this from a local store and I really like this clip because if you use something like this, which I also love, you can't like lie down because it digs into your head. So if you opt for a flat clip, you can lie down and it doesn't hurt the back of your head at all. So I love this. Usually buy one and use it until it breaks. Um, I really should find something more environmentally friendly than plastic. If you have any ideas, let me know in the comments down below. But this is great. I'm a big fan of the bun, a simple hair accessory. So those are really great. I talk about booby tape a lot. Not sponsored, not gifted. I've just been a big fan for a long time. I don't actually like to typically make my breasts look bigger than they are. I'm actually the opposite. I prefer to tape them down. And this is what I actually use to do that. I also really struggle to feel comfortable in a lot of bras, depending on what I'm wearing. Like I don't like visible bra lines typically. Like this is annoying me now <laughs> that I'm not wearing the right bra, but I wasn't active wear before. So yeah, I've gone into the habit of taping for many, many years. I used to use sports tape and the sports tape, when I ripped it off, it would leave rashes, it would hurt. This is much better. It still holds them in place, um, but it doesn't 
put to get it off. That's what it looks like. I actually think this is an Australian brand as well. In terms of how to use it, I actually filmed an example for you, um, but I figured YouTube would demonetize it, so I'm not really sure how to get around that. It does have a few examples on the packet. I don't really do it this way. It takes a bit of trial and error, but typically I'll kind of tape over the nips and pull them apart, which may sound strange, but that's how I do it. And then last of all, I'm not a huge fan of nail polish. I'm a very impatient Aries. When I do nail polish, I, I can't sit still. I can't let it dry. I don't know what it is. It just turns to turns out so bad. And then because I'm also an impatient Aries with anxiety, going to a nail salon and sitting there <laughs> waiting for my nails to be done, I can't do it. It just... I just want to leave. I think for a lot of people, it's a really nice experience to pamper yourself and I can't stand it. So I was really excited. I saw this sparkly nail polish today and I thought, you know what? It's Christmas time, festive season. It's November, you know, maybe a little early for some of you guys. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to get this. And you guys, I'm so stoked with it because it's fail proof. Whoa. It's fail proof because it's clear, even if it goes everywhere, it's fine. It dried really quickly and it's just really cute. So I'm really stoked about this. This is by Essie and I can get it off easily. I don't have to go to a nail salon to remove it. Um, the only thing is it is like textured. So I probably need a top coat, taco, <laughs> um, to smooth it out, but. I think I found my calling for nails. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this. I saw a few requests for an uh, activewear haul and maybe like testing activewear for squats because um, I do work out a bit. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see that. As always, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. Back, back.